Hello and assalamualaikum and good evening or good day to everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmad Fahmi bin Said Nizam. Today in this video, I am going to show you guys the tutorial on how to install Zeek Intrusion Detection System. I am going to show the step by step of the installation procedure. And don't worry, I will add the commands at the description of the video so it will be easier for you guys to do it yourself so uh, starting off we're going to make sure we have eth tool already installed so eth tool it says bad command line arguments uh, that means we already installed it and uh, next up we're going to update our system so we can do that by using apt get upgrade oh yeah we we'll have to go into uh, root first so sudo dash i and then apt get upgrade and yes so uh, you have to wait for a bit so I'm gonna pause this recording first and then when it's finished I'm gonna go back to you guys and after a few minutes as you can see we have finished getting the update for our system and after that we can move on to the next step which is to upgrade your system uh, for that we're gonna use the command apt get upgrade and as you can see uh, everything has been done automatically so let's move on to the next part uh, which is to install the zip prerequisite so this is a bit long but don't worry I will put it in the description as I've said before so sudo pt install and install and You can see I have pasted, uh, I mean basically I typed it uh, all this long to get the prerequisite. Uh, let's see if it's my uh, command is alright. And yeah, it's working correctly. Yes, and we'll have to wait for a bit. So yeah. Now, after finish unpacking and setting up all the prerequisite that we have just put just now, uh now we have to put our zip repositories uh to our local repo so to do that we have this very long command we get dash nv https ah also to note uh at this command x ubuntu underscore 22.04 you have to make sure that you have inputted the right operating system for your uh, OS that you're installing it into. So for me, I am using the Ubuntu version 22.04. So over here, I will put it 22.04. So let's say you're using 18.04, then you just put 18.04. And yeah, uh, we're going to get the key first uh, with this command. So release key dash o start key and enter yeah now we can see that we have released the key and we have we have got the key inside our computer uh, we can add the key by using the apt dash key at release dot key and yeah it says okay so after adding the key we need to update the package to see if there's any new repositories that we can add. So apt dash get update again. And we have to wait a bit and it is done. And after adding the update, we need to add a repo. So bear with me. Um, I will have to type this again. Uh, so as you can see here, I have input this long command. 
and don't worry i have put it in the description step by step with numbers on it so and then you're going to press enter and then you will have to use the edit key to get update command see if you have anything else ah, see we are installing something so we can see key is start in legacy trusted uh dot gpg key ring so yeah <clears throat> then we can now install our zig finally after getting all of the requisite apt dash get install zig dash lts and yeah as you can see it will ask for you if you whether you want to continue or not you press y So I'm going to pause the video first. Uh, so for our own usage, uh, this is not very important. Uh, it is a mail server configuration that uh, can send for notification, I guess. But since we're not using this, we can just press OK and select no configuration. And yeah, just have to wait for a bit. So now, supposedly after you have reached this processing blah, 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 uh, that means we have actually installed Z. Now to verify if we have installed it correctly, correctly, uh, we can use ls dash opt. Now, yeah, we have Z over there. Uh, let's see if we can see the opt slash. Okay, ls the binary package install location should be in this spot, which is opt uh and zig ah yeah you can see the bin etc include library logs shares full and var uh let's see if we go to bin and ls ah yeah you can see all of it now bro which is z before this it is called bro the ids and you can see even more if you want it uh let's see cd oh no you can just select it dash -ish. yeah you can see our path here yeah we can use like activate script and yeah this is the plugin the path and we can also yeah so that's it that is our uh, tutorial to install Zeek I hope this is very helpful for all of you and please like and subscribe if there's any question uh, please leave a comment down below and yeah thank you